Hey, I apologize if today I sound a bit sick because I am. I have been since Monday and I was hoping that by today I will feel better, but nope. For today's video, since I'm not feeling too good, I decided to do something short. I went on Google and I googled my own name and I looked up the most searched things about me so I thought that it would be good if I answer to them on a video so all those questions are gonna be answered and people will actually know without having to Google. The most searched question is, is Martia a model? And even though I'm really happy that you think I could be, I, I'm actually not. I'm way too shy, I'm way too awkward, so I just can't do it. I'm not even that interested in it, but I can't lie, I thought about it while I was in Sweden because I was doing a job, but all the money that I was earning from that job would go to pay my half of the rent while I was living with Felix, and I just needed some extra money to pay for some food and I just couldn't get anything for myself and even though I really needed the money I thought about it but I just couldn't get myself to do it because I just know myself and to these days I still get many offers from big companies they would give me amazing opportunities but I just can't say yes because I, I don't think I would be able to do it. I, it's just too much for me. I even have a friend who is a photographer and I know her for a very long time, but still, I can't let her take pictures of me because I can't. I can't deal with too many things because I have social anxiety. I'm very shy and quiet. I just have so many problems. Second question is, is Marcia pregnant? And no, I'm not. I'm not sure if you're asking this because maybe my belly is too chubby or because you just want me to be because you like children and you want to see how my babies will look like then you are kind of a creep but I can understand unfortunately for you I'm not interested in having kids anytime soon I'm only 21 years old and I don't think I would have them before 5 to 10 years so I'm sorry but it's just not gonna happen Third question is, is Marzia Italian? And yes I am, you might already know it, but I grew up in Vicenza, I was born there, I'm 100% Italian, no other type of origins. When I was 18 years old, I just decided to pack my stuff and travel around the world, live in different countries, and I think it was really amazing, and I would do it again. Next question is, does Marzia have a nose piercing? And yes, I do, and I wanted to answer this question, even though it might seem silly, because in most of my videos, there are still people after two years asking if I have it, if it's fake, and it has been there since I was 14 years old. It's just that most people are not seeing it now because a month ago I think I decided to switch my stud with a nose ring, so now it's more noticeable, but it has always been there, I promise. The next question is a big one. Does Marcia fake her voice? I've got this question asked so many times that I thought it was about time for me to answer to it. To give you a full and honest answer, I have to go through a few steps, so stay with me. The first thing that I have to say is that my voice normally goes through three different stages. The first one is when I'm excited and happy and bubbly and I hire my voice naturally because I'm enjoying myself, I'm having fun and you can hear it in some of Felix's video when we are together or when we are playing. I usually am enjoying myself so much that sometimes I even worry that I'm going too high and I should keep it down because I know that some people find that annoying but at the same time I can't do it because I'm being myself and that's how I am when I'm having fun. The second stage is my normal, relaxed, happy voice and it's the one that you're hearing even though I'm sick right now. I think you know what I mean. That's how I talk in most of my videos and people in real life and that's just my standard voice. Here it is. And then there is the third one which is when I lower it because I'm feeling very stressed or uncomfortable and I just can't deal with emotions so I just try to make myself super tiny and low as much as possible like if I'm hiding behind something because I'm scared of the situation so I do that I and mean, if you watch my older videos you would notice that I started out like that and my voice is really really low and I seem super uncomfortable and after that I started to do it really high instead because I was trying to overcompensate too much. I was just trying to cover the fact that I was feeling very awkward and uncomfortable so instead I made it really high and I didn't realize at that moment but now if I watch my videos I do realize that and I'm sorry I didn't mean to but it's just how it was because I was terrified I didn't want to give you that impression so instead I tried to hide it even though I obviously wasn't 
that good in front of the camera. I hope that makes sense to you. And now after two years of me making videos, I feel pretty comfortable, especially if I'm alone. So this is how I talk. That's the, yeah, this is my real voice. I hope this answers your question. So for the last question, it's something very simple to answer to, but I decided to keep it for last because I have to talk about this. The question is, what's my height and weight? I believe that most girls feel a bit uncomfortable answering this question because I feel like most girls always get judged by these numbers that really don't matter. I grew up being really really skinny, it's just how I am. I was extremely skinny, especially in high school. If you looked at me, you could totally see that I was way skinnier than any other girls. And if I looked at my friends, I felt kind of embarrassed because their curves started to come out and I was so flat and skinny, I looked like a little boy. And I felt kind of bad, not because I thought that there was something wrong with me, I felt comfortable with my body, but people kept judging me. And the bad thing is that not only people my age will make jokes about my weight, but also teacher and some of my relatives will always come to me being kind of mean about it and thinking that I was anorexic when I was 100% healthy. I was eating as much as anyone else, but for the fact that everyone kept thinking that I wasn't, I felt the need to always eat a bit more every time to show people that I could eat even more than them. And that was just so wrong. I never became unhealthy whatsoever. I never exaggerated or anything like that. But I started putting on kilos because I thought I needed to because I thought that otherwise I was different in the wrong way and I really wasn't. So I'm 166 meters and I weigh 50 kilos and I'm proud to say that because I don't care if you think that's too little or that's too much. I had people telling me both things at the same time and that shows you that people will never be happy. They will always find a way to judge you or point out things about you but really doesn't matter because they are not you. You know what is good for you. You should not listen to what anyone else says because if you're happy, if you think you're okay, honestly, don't listen because you are good as you are. You don't have to be like anyone else. If you are a bit underweight or a bit overweight, it's, it's fine. Really, I feel like I'm a bit confusing and I'm not making my point right, but I just want you to understand that it's totally okay to be different. So I'm sorry if this video got pretty deep pretty fast, but these are actually all the questions I wanted to answer to. Hopefully this clears some of your doubts and this is it for today. I'm gonna probably go back to bed now because I'm feeling awful. But yeah, hopefully you appreciate my attempt to be on camera today and I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you very soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.